sad thing about the Middle East, there's so much potential, but there's so much wars and there's so, so much disaster. Well, there's so much money. And what we're doing with the government of Saudi Arabia, I would love to do in the US. So how is the government of Saudi Arabia using it? What's their goal? One is an entire generation of people growing up with these creative tools instead of, you know, textbook learning, instead learning by doing, making things. So an entire generation understanding how to make things with AI, how to code and all of that stuff. Second is upgrading sort of government operations. So you could think of it sort of like Doge, but like more technological. Like, can we automate a big parts of what we do in HR, finance and things like that? And I think it's possible to build these specific AI agents that do part of finance job or accounting job. Again, all these routine things that people are doing, you can go and automate that and make government as a whole more efficient. And third is entrepreneurship. If you gave that power to more people to be able to kind of build businesses, then not only they're growing up with it, but also there's a culture of entrepreneurship and there is existing already in Saudi Arabia. I mean, the sad thing about the Middle East, there's so much potential, but there's so much wars and there's so, so much disaster. Yeah. Well, there's so much money. There's also so much money. Yeah, but which is good. And I think it's good for the United States.